inside. So today we're going to take a look at how to replace your MTW control board. Now this will work whether you are dealing with the Spartan style control board that we have here today or a premium style standalone trigger board that works with our FCU. We have selected for our test piece here the oldest version of the MTW Electronics. Uh, if you have one of the newer versions that already has some of the updates, things will be a little bit different, but they should be easier and they'll just be a couple steps that you can skip. To start with, we're going to press out the hammer pin. Next, we're going to take a one and a half millimeter Allen key and loosen the set screw that holds the trigger onto the trigger pin. And then we're going to remove the trigger pin. Now the board and the trigger and spring should all come out. Now, since we are using a board that still has the spring on it here and the replacement board does not, we're gonna go ahead and pop that spring off. Just grab a little piece of a pair of needle nose pliers, grab the spring at the bottom, and you can pop it free from the glue holding it to the board. There we go. Now the next step is going to be to remove the grip. You'll need a 3 16 Allen key. Set the grip aside with the screw. And then you're going to have a small spring and the detent for the selector switch that will come out the bottom. Now at this point, we can simply remove the selector switch. So let's talk for just a second about how the optical sensor on the board works. The optical sensor sits right here and looks down on the top of the selector switch as it sits in the gun. And then the selector switch rotates around. For the gun to fire in semi-auto mode, we need the optical, the optical sensor to see a, uh, a reflection. So we need something that's bright or white. For it to read in select fire, we need it to read not to see its reflection, so to see something dark. Now with your optical sensor board, you're going to get two little stickers here. This is a white one. This is a black one. Now, there are two different styles of selector switch which you may have. One is the carbon steel version which has a black oxide finish on it. The other is a stainless steel version that has this bright finish on it. Now, uh, what you're going, which dot you're going to use is going to depend on which version you have. We have the carbon steel version here, so we're going to work with that today, and we will put a white dot on the top side of the selector. If we look at it here, it's gonna go on the top side right here, uh, where the side that's going to be facing the optical sensor when the gun is in semi-auto. If we were using the, uh, the stainless steel version, we would put it, put a black dot on Hold this in an area you can see right there. Black, tot, black dot on sort of the forward, if the gun's in semi-auto, it would be on the forward side of the gun. And when the selector is flipped to select fire, it's gonna, then the dot's gonna be on the top and we would use the black dot. Now before we do either of those, we're going to grab some isopropyl alcohol and we're just gonna give that surface that we're going to attach the sticker to a quick cleaning, just in case there's anything on that surface. Now we're going to take our white dot and carefully peel it off. Try not to touch the sticky surface too much. And we're going to apply it right on the top surface of the selector switch, like so. And you see it extends over this edge a little bit. You can just kind of fold it over that edge. Press it carefully into place to make sure that it doesn't come free. And there you go. Now we can go ahead and reinstall. 
Time to install the selector switch. Flip the gun upside down, take the detent and drop it into the detent hole. Then we're going to take the spring, put the spring in the hole in the grip, flip the gun on its side, put it together, take our 3 16 Allen key, tighten it down, and check that it actuates correctly. Now, we're going to double check we're going to see that when the gun is in semi-auto, the white dot is facing the top. When it's in select fire, the black surface is facing the top. And that's what we want. Now, since the optical sensor boards have the new slot style that makes the installation and removal easier, right here you can see the board has a slot in it that goes over the trigger pin, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the trigger pin first. trigger in place, install the trigger pin, and then we can go ahead and snug down the screw on the trigger pin with the trigger pressed over to the left side of the gun. Snug that down. Now what we can do is we can take our electronics drop them down into place, like so. Run the wiring back into the buffer tube. Uh, now, if, now, if you have one of the newer boards that does not use the spring, and that's what you're replacing, at this point you would simply press your hammer pin through and you would be done. However, uh, we have, we are using this spring, so what we're going to do is we're going to start the pin from the right side of the gun until it extends just a little bit past the board. Get the wiring out of the way. Then we're going to take our spring, grab two coils with your with your uh, small needle nose pliers, hook it on the visible part of the pin that we just pushed through. Once it's in place, we can then work the trigger pin or the hammer pin the rest of the way through. The hammer pin should just go straight through the middle of that spring. And there we go. The last step is going to be to rehook the trigger spring which I recommend a small flat blade screwdriver but I'm going to use the pliers instead. There we go. So that is how we swap in one of the newer style optical sensor boards into an older MTW that has the traditional mechanical selector switch. Hope that was helpful guys and we will see you guys next time.